YouTube. So this is a new video series that I want to do uh, called Cosplay Breakdown, which takes every cosplay that I do and breaks it down for you into either where I bought it or how I made it and why I made the choices that I did because I'm never going to be good at making tutorials, but hopefully this will give you enough information to at least get started doing this costume yourself. So this is kind of a trial run. I'm going to do this uh, first one about my costume that I made of Arietti. This is a character from a Miyazaki film, Secret World of Arietti. I really, really like this movie. It's one of my favorite Miyazaki movies, and so this just was the obvious choice when my friends and I were deciding to do Miyazaki characters uh, for our recent Geek Girl Con that we had. And the very first thing that I did was look online for this hair clip. So this is the actual hair clip that she wears in her hair like this. I knew that there was an official version of this out there. This was actually, I had to do a lot of research on this, this was something that they sent along with the collector's edition of the movie that I think specifically came out in Japan and there were only a limited number of these collector's editions that came out. So I had to like scour eBay for a couple of weeks until I found one pop up online and I think I ended up spending something like $30 for this which is probably more than the movie cost. I really wanted to be authentic with this. I didn't want to have to recreate this because I wanted it to look perfect. A lot of times I'm totally cool with making my own props but this was one that was really important to me to look the right way and so I really uh, exercise my internet sleuthing abilities to find this and if you are looking for one the best advice I can give you is just keep your eye on eBay like every single day until one pops up. In terms of props the next thing that I was super excited to make was her little pin sword. This one uh, is still peace bonded actually. I'm gonna pull that off. So this was a really fun prop to make and relatively easy. I just bought a wooden dowel. I took sandpaper and I sanded the bottom part here down into a point. And then this is a styrofoam ball that I covered in probably 20 layers of Mod Podge to try to make it smooth. And then I just painted it yellow. I kind of carved out a little hole and I uh, hot glued this in here after I spray painted this silver. So there you go. There's her sword. The other big prop for Arietti is her bag. So this is the bag that she slings over her shoulder. This was something that I very easily could have made myself, but I did a quick search on Etsy just to see what was available. And I found this seller on Etsy whose username is Cute Art. I'll put a link down below, who was selling this version of the bag for about what it would have cost me to get the materials and make it myself. And because I just, I really appreciate supporting other artists and other cosplayers. I just decided to buy it because it looks better than mine would have. Held my stuff exceptionally well for the convention and looked awesome. This is Arietti's other prop. So she has this belt. Everything's kind of a mess, but she has this belt with this little, uh, holster thing here where she holds her rope and I have another giant button on it to simulate how small she is. Um, so this is just like sort of an army industrial kind of belt that I found at Goodwill. The back is totally the, the color that it came in and the front is painted the color that she has. So I just used um, fabric paint to paint this and then I cut off the front part of the belt to make it shorter and I just put some velcro on the back to secure it like this. It used to have a buckle, but I used I used a Dremel to just sort of get the metal part off entirely, which was really scary, but I did it, um, to make just like a nice simple belt like this. Um, this is just fabric, and this is a button that I painted. And then for the rope, instead of buying real rope, this is actually just like a cotton rope that I found on Amazon in brown, and it worked out great, and it looked just like a rope, and it was nice and light. The really cool part, my favorite prop, um, is this giant fishing hook. I made this out of Sculpey with a wire in the back. You can kind of see the wire coming through here. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I would just hang it, so this would hang from my belt, and then this was just hanging in here. The really sad thing is that it fell from my belt and it cracked right here. And so I'm kind of holding it together like this because I really just need to glue it back together and reinforce it. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. This was great. It literally broke at the very end of the day, which was so frustrating. It looked great all day. It looked great for my pictures and all I got to do is glue it back together. Okay. The last couple pieces of this costume, um, of course the dress is the important thing. If I uh, hadn't been lazy, I could have just easily made this dress out of knit fabric. But again, I was just curious. So I went online, I went on Amazon, and I actually found this red dress. Uh, it's perfect, and it only cost me like I think $20, which is again what making it probably would have cost me plus time. So honestly, if your costume has a simplistic item like this, and buying something as opposed to making something won't hinder the costume, 
buy it. As for boots, I went a little lazy with this. She has brown boots that have uh, this like detail on the top and these buckles. I didn't have time to do that, nor did I really care. So I ended up just buying these slouchy brown boots, which looked fine. If I decide I want to in future iterations of wearing this costume, it'd be really easy to add a little uh, lip here in the lighter brown and then add the little buckles. It was fine without it. So depending on what level of detail you are committed to, it's really easy to just like repurpose shoes. The last piece was the wig. I think that Arietti is a tough character because whenever you need to pull off a realistic looking ponytail, um, ponytail wigs are just kind of hard to come by and don't always look great. So if you can pull it off with your own hair, that's like the best thing. I of course don't have long brown hair. I ended up buying uh, this Arda wig. It's the Amber Classic and I bought it in warm light brown, which kind of had a little bit of a red sheen to it. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out, but basically it's a, a really nice color. I had a little bit of a hard time pulling it back into a ponytail. I thought I'd be able to get the ponies a little higher on my head but just the way that the hair kind of goes down on the wig I really only managed to get kind of a low ponytail which didn't look exactly like Arietti but it worked once I put the clip in it looked okay but the wig ended up getting really tangled rubbing on the back of my neck like that so I think in the future um, I'm either gonna like hope that my hair is long enough that I can just use my normal hair or I might have to find a different wig solution but this one wasn't bad. It just didn't work as well as I had hoped. Okay, so any problems or things I would fix or redo? So again, the wig was kind of a problem. I have to fix my fish hook, but other than that, all of the other parts of my costume held up really well. I would probably add the detail to the boots for another time around, but I don't think that the costume suffered from not having it. Um, people knew who I was. So one of the things that you always have to solve when you are putting together a costume is where you're gonna put your stuff because you probably need, you know, your ID and a card. You probably need your phone. And a lot of times you have to kind of like hide a pocket away. What was really nice with this costume is that a bag was part of it. Costumes that come with bags as as like a piece of the costume are my favorite. In terms of easy, medium, or hard for this costume, because in every one of my cosplay breakdowns, I want to kind of leave you with how difficult this will be to tackle yourself. I would say that this was probably somewhere between easy and medium because there were definitely props that I had to make. There were definitely pieces that I had to spend a significant amount of time researching online to find the exact one, but I didn't have to really sew much except for the little holster for my belt. If you wanted to make the dress and the bag from scratch, I would definitely bump this up to a medium, but it was comfortable to wear. And that's it for my cosplay breakdown. This has been Arietti. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any questions about this costume specifically or if there's anything out there in the world that you would like to see me cosplay next. I'm always adding to my growing list of cosplays that I want to do. If you find this to be helpful and useful, I have about 12 other cosplays that I've done that I could go back to the backlog and make videos like this about. So uh, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.